Coming to you live from just about set to go. And on the mound for San Diego in this one, you Darvish. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he Good wants to turn ball. that around, and we'll see if he's able. Can't get their base hit. Around first, digging for two. And it's a double to start the game. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Drew Waters stands in. Waters checks his swing, appeal to third, and he held up. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. A little bit low. Darvish, who's played for the Rangers, Dodgers, Cubs, and Padres, but he's been an all-star in both leagues, Singy. An all-star and a fan favorite has really become an endeared player to the Padres fans there. They've got a mural painted of him somewhere in the city. So up next, Vinny Pasquantino. Kicks and deals. Runner on the go. Got him swinging. Throw to second. Out there. And that. Back here at the ballpark. On the hill and coming off a great start. Brad Keller. And Singy, that may be his name. But the strikeout is his game. Well, boy, I can tell you've been working on that one. But, yes, you are right. This guy's strikeout for nine over 11. I mean, that's just getting it done. There are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup, and when you look at what he's able to do, man, it's going to be a fun one to watch today. The pitch. Out to short. Witt. On the run. Throw to first. One up, one down. Hassan Kim, the next up for the Padres. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. One down. Base is empty. In the air, right field. And it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now the youngster wants Soto. And a 1-1. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. And here it comes. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Isbell makes the grab, and there's two gone. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now it's Manny Machado. One run batted in yesterday. Their only run of the game. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Back here at Petco Park. Leading off, Salvador Perez. The pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Chris, you Darvish debuted with the Rangers back in 2012. It's been a pretty successful big league career. He's been an all-star multiple times, and a guy with all those pitches. He gives Pitchcom a run for its money, I think you'd say. Riding to the plate. Hard hit down the line and left. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Yeah, I remember when he came into the league and talking about seven, eight pitches that this guy had. And, wow, you're just scratching your head if you're... Get up, ball. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right Come there. On, nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And that one is lifted in the air. Cruz moving under it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging for third. Puts the tag on him, and it's a double play. Jackie Bradley Jr. steps in for the Royals. Bradley waits. 
That one not close. Two balls and a strike. No score here in the second. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. And now here's the veteran DH, Matt Carpenter. One and two now. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. And the batter now, Nelson Cruz. Line drive caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work. Back here in San Diego. Now it's the second baseman, Nate Eaton. Bounced out to short. Bogarts. Whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And now it's Kyle Isbell. And the next pitch is way outside. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. That's the second out. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball three. Pit in the air, right field. Cruz under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Royals bats are quiet there, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Austin Nola. 1-1 one, one down. Late swing fouled off. The one two. Lace to right center base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Fastball in for a strike. Going to count one and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Now the number cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Hold the Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Bobby Witt Jr., a second generation big leaguer. His dad won 142 games in the show. The Royals made Bobby Jr. the number two overall pick in the 2019 draft right after Adley Rutschman. And he made his debut in 2022. Finished behind Julio Rodriguez, Rutschman, and Stephen Kwan for Rookie of the Year. Great crop of rookies. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now the count is even. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. 
three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Go ahead, go ahead. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the Just offensive the side of it. Cruz pulls it down, and that is that. Back here at Petco Park. Bottom four. Now the left fielder, Juan Soto. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. That's the third. And that's a fair ball. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Soto, the lead runner at second. Machado on at first with nobody out. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toe. Swings and misses, struck him out. So first and second with two outs. The batter now is Adam Engel. The next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. And that'll load the bases. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And a pitch. Got him looking. And the Padres waste a chance. And welcome back on, to the getting started. And now the DH, Edward Olivares. Yeah, and a line go. around into right center for a base hit. On your horse, and that's Eddie. gonna roll to the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Cut off, throw to second. Oh, so and he's got no chance, he's out. Here's the left fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Jackie Bradley Jr., there's some swing and miss, but he's got some pop as well. He best example of a streaky hitter when he gets hot the team can jump on his back because he will carry him for a while swing and a miss for the strikeout chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three and a pitch swing and a liner foul off to the right Swing and a miss, struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Bottom of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Luis Campusano. Hammer, base hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Pasquantino steps on the bag, and that's the first the out in the bottom of the field. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's a 2-2. Just misses with that one. Campusano takes his lead at third with one away. Lifted in the air out to left. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And now it's Juan Soto. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Left-hand hitter waits. Swung on, belted. Isbell going back, racing back some more. Makes the oh. catch up against the wall and foul. Back here in San Diego, top of the sixth inning. And the batter now, Kyle Isbell. Next pitch has popped up. Kim makes the grab. And there's one away. Nicky Lopez steps in for the Royals. The wide to kick the pitch. That misses two and one.
Liner caught it second. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting mm -hmm. a gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Digging in is the switching okay. outfielder, Drew Waters. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. and misses on the fastball up in the zone for this back here at the ballpark now the third baseman Manny Machado next offering is down low now just about to hit that century mark a hundred pitches for this game that's a laser base hit now he'll turn for second the throw in and he's there with a double all over that one right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped <laughs> off of his stick. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. And yeah, there's a the ball. Runner at second, nobody out. To the right side. He steps on the bag, one away, bottom of the sixth. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Next offering is in for a strike. And the pitch. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Go. Got him swinging for the strikeout. The high heat. Top of inning number seven. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Come on, Vinny. Next pitch is outside. Well, these Royals, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Takes it himself, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here comes a pinch. Falling behind two and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two two. On the ground. Sneaks through base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Now a good opportunity to potentially oh. jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Activity in the bullpen. Drew Pomerantz, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Hill warming up as well. And a pitch. That misses the zone. And now three balls. And a strike. And ball four to a board. Oh my God, King. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Oh. And there's a hit coming home. 
Angle fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in on the board first. It's one zip. Here comes the skipper. And so the Padres with a new arm in the mound. Drew Pomerantz coming on to face a righty bat, and they've had quite a bit of success against him this year. And now Nate Eaton. The one-one is upstairs, and a count two and one. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And now the right fielder, Kyle Isbell. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Way outside, and the count is two and two. Got him swinging. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now bottom of the seventh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Nola. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Josh Stamont. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Waters makes the catch one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Wind to the pitch. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Here's Xander Bogarts. Oh, that one rides up and in. Straighten him up a little bit. The wind in the pitch. Out towards left center. Waters on the move to the right. Puts the squeeze on it, and that's the inning. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tim Hill gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. So digging in, Nicky Lopez at the belt and fires. This to third, into the outfield, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So up next, on, Bobby Witt Jr., Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Next pitch way upstairs. And that's in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Lopez gets his lead at first with nobody out. That misses. Three and two now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Steel, Runner steel. takes off. In the air out Ooh. towards right center. Cruz gets under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now it's going to be Drew Waters. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Hot shot to third. Machado tossed the second. Double play. What a twin killing. Pitching change here. Scott Barlow. Now, this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. This one in the air right field. Isbell under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. One down. Juan Soto down. 
the 1 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Here's a 1 2. Mm, nope. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Here's Manny Machado, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Next pitch is outside. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. They say it went. Goes down looking. Padres. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. And that one is inside. Next pitch, not close, up high. Got it by him for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Drill out towards left the center field. Oh. That's well struck. That's got a chance. Ninth of the year. And that ball is gone. Salvador Perez leaves the yard. His ninth homer of the year. It's 2 0. <laughs> Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. One for two. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. Bounce to the left side. Fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. In safely with a double. His second of the day. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Now here is Jackie Bradley Jr. Swing and a miss. Get a count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Next offering is down low, and that's ball three. Fly ball to right. Cruz puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Royals get one on this swing by Perez. Welcome back. Bottom nine. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Swing and a bouncer. Witt to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. And that's off the inside edge. Full count now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Adam Engel, the next to hit. A strikeout and a walk. And that'll do it. The Royals use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, he held them down for two solid innings, recording six outs in this 